Hi, my name is David Bell and today we're going to do a quick no frills tutorial on installing WordPress. We're going to be going with the famous 5 minute install which is available at wordpress.org and the link is available in the video description. So right now I have a virtual machine running Ubuntu 64 bit server edition which has already been set up by VMware so we're going to go ahead and jump in and start throwing some commands at the command line. Now the first thing we have to do is get the latest version of WordPress so we can do that by typing in wget wordpress.org slash latest dot zip and letting it download. Now that we have the zip file, let's go ahead and unzip that. So you're going to type unzip latest.zip and it should unzip all the files to your home folder. So if we do an ls, we'll see it there. WordPress requires a LAMP stack. So to grab that, we're going to go ahead and install task cell. Then once that's installed, we go ahead and use that to install the LAMP stack, which is Apache, uh, MySQL, and PHP, all of which WordPress need to run. So we're going to go ahead and speed up the installation process here, but several times it will ask you for a root password. We're going to go ahead and set that ourselves, so just leave it blank every time it asks you. Once it finishes, we'll go ahead and continue with the tutorial. So since we left the root password blank last time, it's set to no password, which isn't really that secure. So let's go ahead and open up MySQL using the root account, and we're going to set our user to our new password. I just use password here, but you can use whatever you like. When you're done setting the password, make sure you flush the privileges, and that way it will update everything for the next time you want to use MySQL. Now, using the root account we just changed the password on, let's reopen MySQL using a password. Enter the password that you just changed root to and create a database called whatever you like, I called my WordPress. Then we're going to go ahead and create a user and give that one, you know, a unique name and a unique password. And this will be our WordPress user, so that way we'll keep it nice and confined. Once you've created it, make sure you go ahead and grant all privileges on the database to the user you just created, and we should be ready to go to copy our files. Nearly finished. All we have to do is set up our config.php file, which tells WordPress how to connect to our database. So cd into your WordPress directory you unzipped before, and rename the config-sample file to config.php with the cp tool here. And don't forget to delete your sample file later on, you won't need it. So we're going to go ahead and remove that now. Now we're going to open up the config.php file in the editor vi and change the lines we have to change using the credentials we just made. So we're going to have to change the db underscore name to the WordPress database we just created. Mine was WordPress. We're going to have to change the db underscore user to the WordPress user we just created. Mine was David. We'll have to configure the db password as well. So put in the password you use. I just use password and make sure that the rest of the settings match your hosted installation. So mine's learning on the local host as well as your character set, your collation. Everything was good for me, so I wrote and quit and we are almost ready to go. All that's left is copying our WordPress directory to the default Apache directory, which is slash var slash www. Once we get there, let's head on over, make sure everything copied properly and delete the index.html file. Finally, we're almost done. All you have to do is navigate to the IP where your web server is hosted and the directory which you installed it in, so mine would be WordPress, and you should have this fancy dancy installation page. So fill in all of the boxes with your site title, your username, password, and email, and then you're pretty much ready to go. WordPress is all installed.